Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with another LaunchBox tutorial. I recently did the Neo Geo tutorial using RetroArch. We're still gonna be using RetroArch. So if you haven't set that up, go ahead and watch that video. Link is in the description and at the end of this video, you can click on it even if you're on mobile. Today, we're gonna cover Capcom Play System. One, two, and three. In my opinion, some of the best arcade games that were ever released. A lot of Street Fighter stuff, obviously Capcom. So I'll go in here, CPS1, these are my ROMs. Now I can't tell you exactly where to get these ROMs, but if you search Google for CPS1 ROM set or Capcom Play System 1 ROM set, you can probably come across something really easily. Let's go ahead and get started. This is actually very simple. Now we're gonna be focusing on LaunchBox, the free version of LaunchBox. If you have Big Box at the end of the week, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on Big Box, setting it up for all the emulators we have right now. Neo Geo, CPS1, CPS2, CPS3. Tomorrow, I will probably cover basic arcade games. The theme here, as you might notice, is arcade. I will start focusing on other systems, and I have done a few tutorials in the past on the Wii and the Dreamcast, so if you wanna check those out, links are also in the description. So if you're ready to start, Let's do this. We're gonna launch RetroArch. Now I have mine going full screen. Showed you in my last video. I'm gonna scroll down to Online Updater, Core Updater, and we need to find Arcade FBA Alpha 2012 CPS1. We're gonna download that. We're also gonna get the Final Burn Alpha 2012 CPS2. And you can use the Final Burn Alpha 2012 Neo Geo for CPS3 or the FBA Alpha works. And I'm just going to go with the straight arcade FBA Alpha. Let those download. We're almost ready to exit. Make sure your controller is set up in RetroArch. I showed you in the last video. Down in the description, there's a link to this text document. Uh, it's going to make life easier on all of us. All we're gonna need to do is copy the core down here and paste it. So go ahead and download that. So now that we have the cores downloaded, you have to have your ROMs, obviously. I have my CPS1, CPS2, CPS3 ROM sets here. I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna cut them, and I'm gonna drop them in Documents, ROMs, Paste. Now that's where I keep my stuff. You can put them anywhere as long as you know where they are. Go ahead and start up LaunchBox. If there's an update available, go ahead and update it. From here, we're going to go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. Next, you can load your whole CPS folders or add files. I'm just going to go to Add Files. I'm going to navigate to where I just put my ROMs, Documents, ROMs, and we're going to start with CPS1. So I'm just gonna take all these. You can also hit Control A, Open, Next. Platform for imported ROMs. We're gonna make a platform. You can name it Capcom Play System 1 if you'd like to. But in this tutorial, we're just gonna go with CPS 1. And actually, I'm gonna go lowercase here. Scrape as. We wanna scrape these as arcade games. Next, choose an emulator. Now we don't have one set up yet, so we're gonna click Add. Emulator name, CPS1. So I had to sneak this in here. Keep Extract ROM Archives before running unchecked. Do not check this when you're playing arcade games like Neo Geo, MAME, FBA. They need to stay zipped or they will not work. So make sure Extract ROM Archives before running is not checked. Emulator Application Path. We're going to be using RetroArch, so we need to navigate to where we have RetroArch. Mine's in Documents, Emulators, RetroArch. We need to find the executable application. Associated Platforms. From here, CPS1. And that text document that you guys downloaded from the description, it's gonna come in handy right here. So I'm just gonna go and grab that off of my desktop. Since we're doing CPS1, 
we're going to copy this. This is going to direct the emulator or the game that we start to this core right here, which is the Final Burn Alpha 2012 CPS1 Libretro core. Make sure default emulator is checked. Click OK. Next. Now you can keep your files in the same location. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So I know exactly where they are and I'm not taking up more space on my hard drive. Search for and download metadata from Wikipedia. I usually check this. Next. Everything here stays checked for me. You can go through and uncheck if you'd like to, but it seems to work great with everything selected. Next. If you don't have an EMU Movies account, go ahead and sign up for one. It's going to ask you to. Mine automatically logged in. So this will be scraping from EMU Movies if you want. Click Next. Force using metadata for emulators other than MAME that use MAME files. Yes. Next. Skip clones and prioritize this region. Really depends on what you want to do. North America works fine for me. Next. It's now parsing the files. And these are all of our CPS1 games. Click Finish. It's going to refresh the local metadata from the LaunchBox Games database. This could take a little while depending on how their servers are working at the moment and how fast your internet is. Sit back and relax. This is going to download all of our game information and box art. Give it a little while. It should finish up shortly. Alright, CPS1 is now done. Click OK. And you'll get a CPS1 platform over here. Let's go ahead and scroll through, just see if you've scraped all your artwork. It should be fine. Here's a missing one. Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting. Right click. Now you can open the image folder and you can add the image if you'd like to. You can always Google it and find the image. But for this video, I'm not worried about this one right now. Make sure your games work. Now I'm just going to click on a single, let's do Mega Man The Power Battle. And I'm using a Razer Serval Bluetooth controller. With Arcade, depending on how you set up your controller or your keyboard, minus select to insert a coin, and I'll just start. And I can always exit by pressing my two buttons that I set up in the first video. So that is CPS1. Let's move on to CPS2. Now I know this video might be getting long. If you've managed to install CPS1 without any hassle at all, you should be able to do CPS 2 and 3 with no trouble. But there are people out there that probably want to see it done. So let's go ahead and do that now. Tools. Import. ROM files. Next. Add files. Navigate to where your CPS games are. We're doing CPS 2. So I'll take all my games here. Open. Next. Platform, we're going to create a new platform, and that's going to be CPS2. Scrape as Arcade, next. Emulator, we need to create a CPS2 emulator. Add, emulator name, CPS2, or whatever you'd like to name it. Emulator application path, we're using RetroArch. Navigate to your RetroArch executable. Oh, mine's documents, emulators, retroarch at the bottom. Associated platforms. Again, default command line parameters. Open up that text document, emulator name, CPS2, associated platform, CPS2. We're using the Final Burn Alpha 2012 CPS2 Libretro Core. Copy, paste. Make sure your default emulator is checked. Click OK. Next. This is up to you. I'm going to use mine in their current location. Search for and download metadata from Wikipedia. Yes. Next. Next. And again, sign up for EMU Movies. 
You can get a free account or a paid account. I just have the free account and it seems to download a lot of stuff. And in the future, you might want to use videos, background videos in big box and stuff like that. It's definitely worth having an account. Next. Force using main metadata. And everything selected for me. Next. Finish. And again, wait a little while. It's going to download all of our images and our game information. Okay, we've successfully imported our 24 CPS2 games. Click OK, and we'll have another option over here. Looks like it scraped all the art for this. Let's start a really awesome game here. And there's so many of them. All of these fighting games are so good, but we're going to go with X-Men vs. Street Fighter. I know it's not Marvel vs. Capcom, but it's pretty good. And sorry about the sound, my headphones are plugged in right now. I was going to switch it over, but sound works great within RetroArch. We'll, well, I'll have to be Cyclops and Ryu. Turbo. So yeah, back out. That's your Capcom Play System 2. One more to go. We're going to do the Capcom Play System 3 now. Same exact thing, but I'm going to walk you through it. Tools. Import. ROM files. Next. Add files. Locate your CPS3 ROMs. Open. Next. Platform. We're going to create a platform. Make sure you scrape it as arcade. Emulator. We're going to add a new one. Capcom Play System 3. Emulator Application Path. RetroArch. Now I know I mentioned this at the beginning, but make sure Extract ROM Archives before running is unchecked. Most arcade games, if not all, need to stay zipped. If you have this checked, they will not work. Associated platforms. And again, we're going to go to that text document. Now, I'm using the Final Burn Alpha Libretro Core, but you can use the Final Burn Alpha 2012 Libretro Core for CPS3. Copy. They both work. If you have trouble playing a game, you might want to switch it out to the Final Burn Alpha 2012 Libretro Core. Make sure default emulator is checked. OK. Next, use the files in their current location. Search Wikipedia. Next. 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 Force using MAME. Now, you really don't have to check this with any of them, but I always do it. Finish. It's going to scrape our artwork and game data for the Capcom Play System 3 games. Shouldn't take too long. There's not that many CPS3 games, but there are some really good ones. And we successfully imported the 13 Capcom Play System 3 games over here. So it looks like a few of these don't have artwork. That's because these are like Street Fighter 3, Second Impact, Giant Attack. Kind of offbeat games, and I know a lot of Street Fighter lovers are going to know these games by heart, but if you need to get artwork for this, at the end of the week, I'm going to make a video on it. So we'll just launch Red Earth, my favorite fighting game. As you can see, we got, you know, time limit. You fight a bunch of different creatures that you can't choose. Um, two players is pretty cool, but I love this story mode. And he's got a giant life bar at the bottom there. We'll back out of here. And that's it for now, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Real quick, before we get out of here, if you have the paid version of LaunchBox, you also have BigBox. BigBox is amazing. We're going to launch it right now. So I just want to mention this. I am in no way 
affiliated with the LaunchBox team at all. Unbroken Software, I believe they're called. I just love the software and I use it on my PC. So I'm not trying to sell you anything. You can go ahead and download the free version, use it all you want, but there are some features you will need to pay for. And in my opinion, it's worth it. I've messed with hyperspin, a track mode, all kinds of different front ends, and I find this one so easy to scrape all of your metadata and then set something up like this. So at the end of the week, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Big Box after you get your game set up. We're going to focus on Arcade this week. As you can see, I have a Capcom Play System 2 logo. If you go to Big Box right now after you install all this, you'll only have the Arcade logo. It's not going to look anything like this. You won't have that background video going. I'm going to show you how to do that. There are endless combinations that you can do. So I'm just going to go into here, and I love the cover flow system. I always have, and I probably always will. Easy to navigate. Everything I need to know is right there. Do I want to play this game? Uh, probably yes. But you can have the information for the game. Scroll through if you'd like to. All kinds of different ways to customize Big Box. So keep an eye out for that. If you guys want to see anything else regarding LaunchBox or Big Box, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.